Hi everyone and happy Monday. We have a treasure chest to colour today. I love this picture from Enchanted Forest and I decided to have a go with my Artex pencils. I just happened to have them out and uh, thought I would have a go. Now I'm just going to show you these. I know a lot of people don't actually have them but uh, I find them a little bit annoying. Like These greens have been sharpened a lot and they're really deep inside so I've decided that I'm going to swap my pencils around a bit so the shorter ones are on the outside to make it easier for me but actually I'm just going to yank them all out of the box um, and uh, use them I think maybe not maybe I'll just use them as I see fit but we're going to come in and um, get using now and thing to note about the Artex is that the colour names are almost the same as Prisma and I've got a chart here um, where I've compared Artex and Prismas and they are very very similar in the colours so for example um, this one I've just pulled out which I'm going to use in a minute is the lavender and it's here on my chart and there's the Artex lavender and there's the Prisma and although the Prisma is more vibrant it's a bit pinker um, they are quite similar so if you're following along this and you don't have the Artex and you have the Prisma then just go by the colour name it's the same there's a few which don't quite tie up a few of the names are different but most of them are the same so you should be able to colour along if you have them um, there is one big error that I've noticed is the violet and the violet blue here and here the um, violet in the um, Artex is quite a blue one and the violet in the Prisma is quite purpley and then it's the other way around here so I think they've got that muddled slightly I thought I had got it muddled but I double checked and I hadn't it was them and there are a few with different names for example um, the uh, I can't find one here the turquoise grey there isn't really one like that I've matched it to the slate grey although it looks qu quite like one of the prisma greens like the um, Kelly green or something like that I'm not sure but anyway let's get on with some colouring we as I said I've got the lavender and I'm gonna start the blackberries now this might be seem like an old colour to start blackberries but this is how I colour them um, I like doing berries a lot so uh, I've done blackberries lots of times. In that chart, by the way, is available in my Kofi shop. Um, I have a selection of charts in there. I have a, a Poly and Prisma comparison chart. Um, I have um, Studler colour name charts and Polycolor ones. A Castle and our Castle Art and our Taser one. There's all sorts of things going on in there. And uh, so um, I try and remember to put the link. There is a link in the description. It's in every video, well, every recent video since I opened the shop. Um, there's a link to the shop in there, in in my link where I put all my social media um, links. So you should be able to find it anyway. Um, but I try and remember to put a link to the specific um, sheet. But uh, memory's like a sieve. I think it's my age actually I could write it down but I haven't got a pencil I must have a pencil I've got a pencil in my hand obviously but I mean you know <laughs> a graphite pencil I'll put myself a note and then you can go straight there and find it a bit more easily than rummaging around okay now the next part for my blackberries I quite like a sort of um uh, purpley colour. I'm looking for the violet blue. Nope. I find these quite difficult to find. I'm hoping to soon get a... Um, there it is. This is called violet blue. It is the equivalent of the Prisma violet as I explained earlier. Um, I'm um, hoping to uh, get a pencil case to put some pencils in that are in more awkward boxes I really like tins and I'm not that keen on taking pencils out of tins very much um, I've already got one pencil case and I've put my um, um, Stedlers in there 
Now they do come in tins, but not all of mine were in tins. Now what I'm doing here, by the way, is putting more layers on the outside than the inside to make these little circles look a little more spherical. Um, so one, I had a tin of Stedler's soft touch and the lid was really loose. Um, it got buckled in the post, um, so it was never very good. I had a box of Stedler's, like a cardboard box, and another box of Stedler's, and then one nice tin. So I mixed them all up into, I know some people find this quite uh, difficult to do, but I mixed up all my sets, so my Design Journey, my Design Journey Super Soft, my Ergo Soft, and my Norris are all mixed together, so all the yellows are together and all the greens are together and that sort of thing, it makes it a lot easier for me. And I think with this box with the Artex, I'm gonna put them in a case I'm getting. I've got a couple of cases coming soon. So I might but I've only got two cases. I've got quite a few pencils that I'd like to put in cases, so I will have to see. Um, I'll have to make a decision. I'm also going to put my Derwents in one case because, again, I have a lot of different sets. I have the drawing set, Light Fast, Chroma Flow, and also a few odd ones um, <clears throat> that open stock. And I'd like to put them in colour order and mix them up so that I can use them together. I think I would get more use out of them. Like my drawing set is really lovely. I absolutely adore them, but the colours palette is quite limited. So I would like to, if I mix it with my other sets, then I'll use them all together. Because there isn't even a really nice, warm, bright yellow. They're quite earthy tones, which is great. But I often feel like even when I'm doing earthy tones, I want a sort of brighter yellow with them. There's also not a, a sort of um blue and the and the greens are all brownish greens which is also true actually of the light fast most of them are brownish there are a few that aren't there are a few more bluey greens so it'd be nice to sort of as i say mix them up a bit now i i love this page this is from enchanted forest and uh in my second copy i think it was of Enchanted Forest, it might have been my first copy, mm. don't know, um, I took it on holiday with me and I was holidaying with family, my niece and nephew um, coloured this page in my book and uh, I was fine with that, though with them colouring, I am, um, I, yeah, they, I, it, was, it was a nice little bonding session for us, I really enjoyed it but it meant that I didn't get to colour it so it's nice to have a go myself. Um, and they were quite old, they weren't little. Um, they, you know, I can't remember really how old they would have been. But anyway, um, they uh, they uh, did it neatly. Yeah, it was a nice picture, nice memory of that holiday, which was fun, family. But uh, a long time ago, I don't think we'll. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do something like that again. Um, now, for the tops of the blackberries, I want a sort of greeny blue colour. I think this one, that's a dark, maybe I will use the dark green. A dark green. Now, I felt that the Artex pencils, when I first had them, were better than Prismas. Um, they're cheaper in the UK. Now, Prismas, I know. Um, in the USA are quite a very reasonable price. In the UK they're expensive, um, I guess in port duty um, and postage and things. So that means that when they break, which sometimes they do quite easily for some people, I know some people say they never have trouble with them breaking, but I do. You know, it can be quite upsetting. But, so I thought, well the Artex is, you know, good and I when I first used them they didn't break at all and I was like this is brilliant they're so much better than the Prismas but I had a bit of an incident with my silver it still keeps breaking and that's why it's not been sharpened to a point it's uh, just a particularly temperamental one that keeps breaking and it's fine I've got other silver pencils and uh, with 
with the silver it's it's not one that is like crucial because you don't sort of mix it in with others and things like that so I wasn't too worried but um, I, I felt a bit bad because I'd been singing the praises of Artex pencils for ages and then suddenly it went snap snap and I was like ah <laughs> I've been telling everyone they're brilliant and now it's broken but I haven't had that happen with any others going to use the dark brown for the bases of the um, acorns and for these I tend to just make them a little bit darker whoops, on the edge and then a bit lighter towards the top it's a bit less I'm only using one colour it's really simple so dark on each side and it helps to give the impression it's rounded which they look quite rounded anyway because of the clever way Johanna's drawn them I think because of this line going round but we can just emphasize that with our color now we're in the middle of a series at the moment in our afternoons I don't know if you have seen the first one was the um, Hannah Carlson mushroom it's actually a whole page of mushrooms I have finished recording it already and I had such fun but I really kept thinking I need to do this page because <laughs> I've got to slot this in the middle but that's fine I wasn't procrastinating this page because I, I like it but sometimes with the planner I'm like oh it's a complicated page what am I gonna do but not for this one and this page as I say, I've colored it before I think I'm coloring it in, in exactly the same way as I did last time I colored it <laughs> But then maybe the, if you want to colour it in the way the things would look, then it sort of almost tells you its colour, if that makes sense. Now I do have um, lots of um, tutorials for acorns. I've got a particularly good one um, where I used a tutorial from a book and followed that. And it was a very popular video, which is not surprising because she'd done a good tutorial. But I did ask permission of the author of the book if I could, um, got a couple down here as well, if I could use her book tutorial in a video. And she said yes. So that was good because, uh, you know, you have to be careful because you don't want to, uh, you know, show too much of someone's book and then people don't need to buy it because they've had it all in videos. Same as the colour cubes. Um, Sarah Rennie Clark's colour cubes. I wasn't sure whether I should show them in videos because I thought if everyone's showing them then people might just use the palettes and not actually buy the cards. But I wrote and I emailed her and one of her team got back to me and said as long as um, I said that that's where the palette was from then it would be fine. This is the burnt ochre that I'm going to use for the tops I think. She's looking at my swatch chart. There really aren't very many orangey browns, which is quite unusual for pencil sets. Um, in a lot of pencil sets, there were far too many orangey browns, and I, I don't really like the colour <laughs> that much. <laughs> but I think that's the colour these are really. They're usually quite shiny, so you could even leave a white bit because they have a high shine. And to tell you what we used to do with these um, when I was little, you'd often find these bits, the cup bit, without the nut in it. Now you get these on other nuts, not just acorns. Um, I think it, is it cob, no not cob nuts, they're different, I can't remember. Anyway, so you'd find these little cups. And of course, you've got this bit of stick on the end, that's exactly how you would find them. So uh, I would pick them up and I would like pretending they were cups and things. My mum said that when she was little they would pretend it was a pipe and they'd put this bit in their mouth, pretend they were smoking a pipe. So these days kids don't thankfully see so much, see, see people smoking quite so much. It still happens, there's vaping and things like that, but it's not such a thing which is nice when I was young my both my grandfathers smoked my grandmother used to but she um, she gave up because she couldn't afford it 
but her husband continued to smoke. Um, and uh, maybe they both gave up and he took it back up again or something, I don't know. Um, and uh, my parents had never smoked. Partly they couldn't afford to, but also um, when my mum was little, her um, one of her brothers lined up the younger children, he was a bit older, and made them all have a puff on his cigarette and she she hated it, she choked and was nearly sick. And uh, also she watched her father choking so hard uh, while smoking that he blacked out, as she put it, and he fell, fell, fell out of his chair unconscious and nearly fell into the fire. If there hadn't been a fire guard, which of course there was with lots of children, he'd have been in the fire. So she said that was enough to put her off. But I think these days there are lots of other messages we get around putting us off doing things like that. Now these little tiny berries, I've got no idea what they are. I quite fancy doing them red though. I'm going to use the crimson red. It's just a nice general red. And uh, I'm going to do them a little bit darker at the bottom and put a dark bit around there and then just leave a lighter bit at the top like they're a bit shiny now something I didn't do when I made my chart is to see which colours were didn't bleed into white pen I usually do that and I should have done it um, it just helps me know when I'm if I want to use any white whether I need to avoid certain colours. What I've done with my Prisma set is I put a little bit of um, washi tape at the bottom of the pencils that the two is dark purple and dahlia purple that um, go neon What if you put um, white on top of them. So I've put that on the pencil so I know that if I'm doing a page where I think I'm going to be using white I avoid using those specific colours. So that helps me. Now I'm wondering whether to split this into two videos or not. How are we doing? 17 minutes. I'm just thinking about it because um, because I've got my other series running and things like that. I've just noticed I've missed out a stem thing of that cup so I'm going to do that. We're not going to stop yet, don't worry. Now we have these sort of spiky cases of chestnuts. Um, I usually do those in a sort of mid-green. I'm thinking maybe the apple green, if I can find it. No, I can't see it. There it is. <sighs> so short because it's my favourite green. It's got itself tucked right down inside. This is quite bright probably too light really but we'll go over it with something else. Now the Artex pencils by the way as I'm using them, I'll talk to you a bit more, there is a second set that have now come out and they have changed the initial set so my chart is based on my set which is the initial 72 but apparently they have changed a couple of the colours up in the new 72 sets but I don't know how and I don't know whether those sets are the ones that you get right now or whether they're coming out soon it's always hard to know so um, that's worth just noting so if your set doesn't quite tie up with my sheet that'll be why I'm going to do a little bit of olive green I think around these as well so let's turn it so you can see um, so firstly in here where there's some shadow um, and then just around the sort of in between the spikes really now these are actually quite painfully spiky these cases if you have never come across one I don't know what countries they are in whether they are in all countries or not if you pick one up the you can actually hurts. It doesn't the spikes don't come off and you know like a cactus or anything, but they still make you sore. Now we've got some grass going on. Or should we do the feathers? Let's do the grass. Um I'm just trying to think we've got spring green. 
Um, I think that might be our best bet. We have got a grass green actually, maybe that would make sense. Yeah, let's use the grass green. It does sort of make sense from the name, doesn't it? But inside these cases, um, it's really pretty. So there's white fluff um, inside, which holds the um, the nut, and but it isn't soft; it's damp, you know, moist. Um, and when it dries out, it goes hard, which is really interesting. But in nestled inside is your chestnut or horse chestnut, and when it first comes out, because of the damp, it's absolutely gorgeously shiny, and they're just so precious and pretty. And then within a few hours they go dull. And it's oh, my lovely shiny chestnut. And of course we used to play conkers with them. We call them conkers. We used to play um, with them. You would pierce a hole right through, use a bradle, and uh, tie a string through. So you, it would be hanging off a string. And then one of you would hold, would dangle your, dangle it down. And the other one would hit it with their with their conker, which was also on a string. And um, that's quite a bright green, isn't it? Let's do these feathers. Um, I'm thinking grey would make sense. Um, I, the cold greys... Yeah, I think a cool grey is the answer. That's a bit dark. Yeah, I think the 50% cool grey. The 20% is a little bit pale and sharp in it. And so you would hit the conquer, one conquer with the other, and uh, try and break it. I don't know how many times you get to hit it. I can't quite rem recall the rules. So what I want is a dark layer here and here. And leave a light bit in the middle. Feathers are usually shiny, um, but um, you would try not to. Um, you wouldn't want your conquer to get broken by somebody else's. And if you won a match, your conquer would be a oneer. And then if you won a second match, it would be a twoer, and a third match would be a threeer. That's how we used to play. I mean, I'm sure um, rules change across the country and from school to school. I expect. And uh, yeah, and you would do all sorts of things to try and make your conquer really hard. Um, tried baking it in the oven, but the, the shell would split, so that was no good. Um, tried um, soaking them in vinegar. I don't, I'm not convinced that actually really helped. Or well, basically, you've just got to choose one that's bigger than that's big, <laughs> and that would help. And on my way home from school, there was a tree. Uh, so uh, all the kids will be under it picking up all the um, all the conkers. I'm going to use the spring green for the leaf here. So um, yeah, we just have some fun. But of course, those games are now banned in schools because of the danger. So uh, when my children were little, I used to pick up conkers on the way to school, and I would give them to the kids in the playground. And I would show them how to roll them along the playground floor and have races with them. So I would just roll them along like they were a little ball. And the um, teachers were fine with me doing that, luckily. Um, rather than... Uh, I just realised we haven't done the centres of the feathers. I wanted. To, I thought that was dark brown and it wasn't. Well, that's I'm trying to find a dark brown. There we go, dark umber. I want to do this bit here. That's a bit dark. I'm going to do quite light. There we go. Okay, where are we? We need to do the centre of the feathers. I'm going to use the a warm brown. Warm brown. This one's quite a light one. This is only 20% warm grey. Sorry, not warm brown. I'm going to sharpen it. I've just noticed another stem of um, there, which you probably noticed already. It 
doesn't show up that much. Um, which brown did we use? We used the dark brown. Right, now, now this is what's happening to my pencil. Now what our techs have done is they've slightly changed the design of their box I think in the newer um, sets of pencils but they get really messy messed up which is another reason I think I'm going to pop them in a case. Now we have this little bit of creeping vine here I'm going to use I think I hmm, I don't think I am going to use the true green it's far too blue um, for my liking I could use the lime peel which is quite a nice one lime peel I use this a lot in my prismas I actually had a lime peel before I got my 150 sex I had a few quite a lot of prisma greens and uh, it's about that long <laughs> I use it a lot it's a nice color I do like this color it's it's rather um, Stedler earth green yellowish, no, Prism, Polly's earth green yellowish or Stedler number 40, what's it, uh, no, 56, 57, something like that. So uh, it's a n nice shade, I think, anyway. So we've got these little toadstools to do and I think because we've used red for our berries we might just make it really colourful and use a sort of blue colour. I think that might just be a bit of fun. Um, we've got some really pretty these sorts of colours. I think this is actually a parrot green I think. No it's a jade blue, I'm lying. <laughs> Sorry, we use the jade blue. I'm in a silly mood today. Uh, I've just been chatting to my friend Mary about the Lake District. I was talking to my husband about it at breakfast as well. She's colouring a white aqua, a Peter Rabbit um, colouring book, you know, Beatrix Potter. And uh, Beatrix Potter lived around the Lake District. So uh, there are places on the map that she's colouring which are um, in the Lake District and I've never been to the Lake District but um, it looks so pretty. I've gone past it a lot of times. I'm going to use the 70% cool grey for the stems really carefully. Um, on the train, when I used to live in Glasgow, I used to go, go past on the train, 70% cool grey, um, from Birmingham. You'd go up through the Lake District to Glasgow and uh, I was saying to the boys this morning how when the train went by that area everything would just whoops my pencil are rolling everywhere. Yeah. Um the the landscape would change and it would just be beautiful and you would just know that you were there, you know. I'm gonna use the magenta for this gemstone. Um there was just something about how it changed. Um, obviously you've got a lot of industrial buildings coming um, on that part of the railway in Birmingham and that sort of thing um, but uh, you uh, you would suddenly have beautiful countryside what I'm doing I'm just colouring the bottom of each little section leaving the top bit white and fading it up so that it looks a bit more shiny right our trunk is the sort of next bit. I'm wondering whether to leave the trunk and the background for a second video. Hmm. I think I might do that actually. Um, what I'm going to do, you see, is I'm going to go away, test my chart and see whether the colours are light fast, um, whether they, sorry, bleed into white pen or not, because I would like to add some white pen, but I need to check. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do the trunk next video and a background okay so that's why I think it will be better to do a second one give you a breather let you catch up give me a breather let me test out these pencils and then 
the next one and it'll just delay the next series as well but it'll be okay the next part of the next series on with the hammer series but that's all right anyway thank you for watching have a lovely day um and tune in tomorrow for the next part happy coloring